We are just returned from uh, the 2015 uh, Mike and Key uh, flea market and uh, ham uh, fest. Uh, it's up in Puyallup, Washington. Some of the loot was this, uh, what was the part number? CE203 uh, Mercury Arc uh, rectifier uh, that I got for five bucks. So here we have it hooked up in this professional mount. We are going to use it to attempt to power this light bulb with rectified DC. Okay, I'm going to interrupt past me now to actually explain what the heck we're doing. I was a little bit too excited at the prospect of shoving a lot of power through vintage pieces of glassware. Now, a mercury arc rectifier is just a diode, similar to the silicon diodes you might find and use today. Now, the purpose of any rectifier is to change an alternating current into a direct current, or put another way, it is designed to allow the passage of current in one direction, but not allow the passage of current in another. Now, silicon diodes do this by the semiconducting properties of silicon, a mercury arc rectifier, instead, uses a heated pool of mercury to emit electrons that are then attracted uh, to a, an anode at the top of the device. So that big wire that you see coming out of the top, that is the anode. Now, the electrons are not emitted by the anode in the reverse cycle, uh, so current cannot flow in that direction. It, the electrons are only emitted uh, during the uh, forward cycle by the heated mercury and this provides the rectifying effect. So the problems that I'm going to encounter uh, in this video are powering the heater, because it actually takes a decent amount of power, about 50 watts, to uh, heat up the mercury uh, to the correct temperature to allow the rectification action to happen. And, uh, well, you will see how that goes, and, uh, well, it's a bit harder than I initially imagined. The main challenge there is that the heater, or filament, actually operates at quite a low voltage, about 2.5 volts, at something like 20 amps, and that is not something that you encounter very often in electronics. The amount of power is only about 50 watts, but the low voltage makes a kind of an unusual circumstance, and I had a little bit of difficulty coming up with a system that could provide that sort of uh, power at those low voltages. So what we have in this crazy arrangement is a variac going into a 20-volt uh, transformer. The variac will dial down the transformer to 2.5 volts at uh, many, like about 15 amps for the filament. We will let it run for a couple minutes just under the filament to vaporize the mercury contained within. Then we're going to screw in this light bulb over here, and that will cause the current to flow in one direction from the base through this wire here, uh, through this light bulb, and back into uh, well, the live side of the circuit. Let's flip the switch on the uh, filament, shall we? Q explosion in three, two, one. No explosion. Disappointing. So I'm slowly cranking up the filament just to make sure nothing explodes. You're supposed to let this thing warm up for three minutes. Alright, I'll let it run an, an amp for a little bit. Make sure. Well, this is getting rather warm, actually. <laughs> let it run there for a bit. I interrupt this program to point out the mercury vapor that is forming on the inside of this bulb. Uh, this probably, although I'm not sure, means that this bulb was uh, never actually used. So this is the first time that it's been under power. Uh, so I guess get a good look at the uh, clean glass surface because uh, this is the last time you'll see it. Transformer is mm, reasonably unhappy. It's fine. Nothing. So I'm going to crank it up to about 2 volts. So there's probably about 20 amps going into this thing right now. Some nice uh, stuff going on here. Oh, this is this is warming up quite quickly, actually. Oh, oh I smell it, actually. Mmm. <laughs> I think I saw a wisp. Yeah, right. there's smoking. definitely smoke. Shut her down. Right, go big or go home. So next evening, here's what we've come up with. This is an old transformer out of a Sony uh, home theater audio receiver. Uh, has big amplifiers or had big amplifiers on it. Could kick out quite a bit of power. We've cut out the secondaries with uh, 
you know, drills and snips and blisters. And quite simply, wrapped our own secondary, consisting of, well, right now, just for fun, a turn and, well, let's call it two turns of uh, quite thick copper cable. This is 12 AWG plugged into a standard socket over there. You can get quite a lot of power out of that. Ha! Hot! So we've measured this and uh... <coughs> excuse me while I catch my breath smoke everywhere. Uh, this thing can output about 1.2 volts in the current configuration at, well, let's call them many amps. You can see my fingerprint etched into the uh, insulator there. Uh, so tweak this a little bit, uh, maybe wrap one more or one or two more turns and use a Variac to uh, dial this down a little bit and we'll definitely have a supply capable of, uh, you know, powering a little filament and also melting things. Shall we have some fun? on a two gauge wire. <laughs> uh, what did you say? Continue? Oh no, you said we should probably stop. Mm. Yeah, we should probably stop. Okay, this will definitely have enough power. <laughs> oh god. See it glowing in there. Boom! Where do you see it glowing? From the top. Turn off the light. The light isn't on. The other light. All right, show time. Uh, it's been running for about five minutes. There's a nice haze of uh, mercury vapor up here. Definitely, uh, you'll want to breathe that as much as you can. I'm going to temporarily de-energize the entire circuit while I switch things around so everything is now off. I'm going to take uh, this, yes, take this, which is going to the bulb and hook it up here. I'm going to turn this back on. Make sure that's still warm. Give it another maybe you know 30 seconds to warm back up. Let's go for it. Ready, steady. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. Well, this camera isn't yeah. showing it up particularly yeah. well. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, one, that one's pretty oh, good. It looks badass. <laughs> Definitely more purplish yeah, than what this screen is showing. Yeah, this shit has like more blue. Oh wow, I get some crazy flickering too, but that's maybe just the camera. That might be the... No, uh, it, it is going to be flickering at uh, 60 hertz. And it's only a half wave rectifier, yeah, so it's going to be very obvious. So this is way faster, well, slower than 30 hertz then, or even 60. Catch the flicker on this camera, eh, it's hard to. Oh, here. 
I mean, the right angle. Weird. Very weird. Huh. It depends on how you point the camera. Straight at it, you get flicker. Fits it like the tongue. Uh, weird. I was doing it a second ago, but... Some expert light attenuation from Brian. Yep. You know, really compliments the uh, the mercury. If only it didn't take so much power in the film, I just have this thing running all the time. You know, I need to charge my computer. Need some DC. Fire this thing up. How much power is going through the heater? Uh, so it's about 120 watts. Well, yeah, two and a half uh, volts at like 20 amps. So it's a decent amount. Definitely not cheap. Also, the endurance of this is only like maybe 2,000 hours, which is pretty good. But you know, I've only got one of these. I can avoid killing myself on the darkened shop. Okay, we need a bigger one. Yeah, I have six of these for a... Yeah, that would be good. I mean, this would no, work... Not six, just... Yeah, you just need three. The One of the fancy three-phase things. Oh, I see. One of the ones that has three the loads. Multiple tasks. Multiple, yeah, but yeah. what you really want is the six-phase ones, because those look like evil squid from, uh -huh. you know, outer space. I don't know where you get six phases. Well, we'd have to make something work. <laughs> I'm just going to keep staring at this. <laughs> it's pretty. I've got another one. Maybe we can fire that one up. You do? Yeah. There's a little one? A or? little one, yeah. Okay. I have no idea how much voltage that one likes to rectify, but I think it's the same. I think it's just a little cousin of this one. But it has a completely different base, but... Uh, I tried to fire that one up earlier, but I ran into the same problems of needing two and a half volts at many amps, and I just didn't have anything handy. What's the filament doing? Yeah. Hmm. This, hmm. Nice and warm. Cool. So it shouldn't be too bad. Half power. Yep. So I shut it down, and you can see at the top the little rivulets of mercury starting to uh, to form up there. We've got that kind of mist up there, and then a couple right there, little bigger pieces kind of condensing down the side. The bigger ones have big drops of mercury just constantly rolling down.